This video comes from our Community Games Stream, a Discord live event we host every two weeks where we showcase games made with Rosebud AI. Go to the link in the description to start building games just with prompts, and let's dive in. Let's get it going with Fall Boy. This is by Adam and Clayton. We should also say that this is our sleep theme game jam submission. Wow, I'm loving this. Yep, these are hand drawn too. Everything yeah. is hand drawn and custom made, so it feels super special. All right, Adam is here. Yeah, well, it's still not behaving exactly as it should. There are going to be like three levels that kind of get harder and harder to mm. get to get your bikes and you got to get more bikes. I'm just really enjoying like designing the characters, this like kind of dream world that, yeah, that the game jam inspired me to kind of explore. So it's been really fun. I'm sure other people have this experience as well, but there are some paths that I walk down with Rosie that end up teaching me a lot about coding and about phaser. And then there are other paths where I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> when it works well, it feels like super magical. And it's definitely like there's a learning curve for sure. So I'm yeah. just super glad yeah. that you are able to make this work for you and oh. continue to make your own game on Rosebud. How much have you been working on this? I don't know, maybe like 35 hours or so, maybe. But I'm also like very new to this. My skill set is in like music composition and a little bit of graphic design. And I think at first I was sort of like, oh, this is AI like mid journey where I'm like, make this image and more or less it does it for me. But I, Rosie's more collaborative and more kind of. So moving to move and shoot by Scout Adam Meiji. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, this game does have music as well. I can't, I can't wait to sleep. Tomorrow's the weekend too. No one will disrupt my sleep. What? All right. Okay, let's, let's go. <laughs> so. This is easy mode too, so I have to win. <laughs> you have to. I've seen you in the comments. <laughs> you have definitely been playing this. But it's a very cool game. Adam and Clayton is saying, I love the motion of the bullets. Really elegant. Yeah, really elegant when they're like, <laughs> just killing you. Yeah, they're elegant before you get hit. Yeah. Everyone who is making fun of Jason, just go and play this game. And you'll understand. Thank you, Adam Meiji for making this cool game. All right, cool. Yeah, let's get to the next one. Apples by R9. All right. So we're picking apples in mm -hmm. this one. And this one is Mark as like work in progress. And people have been talking about this one. Like, how does this relate to the <laughs> sleep team? And R9 has just said like, just you wait and they will do something. But guys, I'd like to bring your attention to one small detail. The trees are spawning literally in the sky. So it's not real world anymore. It's definitely a dream. Yes. Vladimir saying, not a real world. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes have been opened, guys. This is not real. The trees don't spawn in the sky. The way he's saying, that's what Newton saw before he invented gravity. <laughs> 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 are you like, are you really able to like fly more? No. I can just jump high, but I can't go all the way up. <laughs> Maybe if we made the jump like five times big uh, or more powerful, then... I think that's just like mind games, you know? He released this game like that so that you can just hear whatever people think this game is going to be like. Mm. So we're already in suggesting so many improvements. Like you can jump higher when you get more apples. <laughs> <laughs> so you can now just do it and say, well, you guessed it. Let's go to the next one. Sleep Jam Taster by Yuck the Bug, guys. All right. All right. How to play, find monster honey spots, then startle them by shooting a gun near them, and don't run out of ammo. Can we just... Oh, here we go. Yeah. 
adjusting the volume, guys, so, <laughs> so that Jason doesn't get too scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get I get scared too many times, basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's going to scream, guys. Just wait. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, I have no ammo, so... <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Oh, oh that's it. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, oh womp womp. You got brutally slaughtered by a nightmarish creature. Look, it's not even a nightma like, nightmarish, you know? It's not even that scary. Mm -hmm. John is saying this one. It's super cool, reminds me of the old Virtua Cop and those crazy shooters you see at the arcade. What's funny if you're saying, I didn't need to sleep tonight, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, Yag the Bug. Um, <laughs> this is so cool. All right, let's get to the next one. All right. Oh, finally, trench we're getting run. to Trench Run. <laughs> And this is like deliberately, I think, was last because like such a big game to talk about. So we'll be inviting Joel here to talk at us while we're trying and beat this one. Hello, so hello. Let's, hey. let's just get started. I'm, I'm curious to see uh, how well you guys do. Well, not guys, like Jason is going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> there are certainly uh, different techniques that you can utilize, especially in the later difficulties that give you a bit of an edge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this, uh, th th doing just this not going to work with health mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is super cool, though. Super immersed already. Yes, it is super nice and polished. Yes. Yeah. All right, Jason, you did it on easy. Yes. <laughs> You've earned you get zero it. respect because you did it on easy. If, if anyone's able to do it in hard mode, I'll be very impressed. Yes, me too. So almost everything is different in, well, not everything, but there are lots of differences depending on the difficulty that you play in. So the music changes in every single difficulty, all the voice lines change in every single difficulty. Mm. I introduce different mechanics in each difficulty. The amount of high fighters that he's born at any given time change with each difficulty, so... See, there's a new thing. Uh, 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 stop! You can't! Ow! Oh, Ow. easy. <laughs> Advice. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, so I kind of, this is my first publish whatever uh, with Rosebud. Um, I was, I came into it, I had uh, like these ideas in mind where I wanted to do a few different things, but those features weren't available, at least not yet. So I, I kind of rethought, okay, well, what's something that I could do that would be fun? And I came up with like an arcade game and then um, I run a Star Wars game, like tabletop game mm -hmm. every like, Friday night. Nice. Uh, so I'm exposed to that a lot. Um, so I was like, oh, let's do the trench run from A New Hope. That could be fun in game form. Mm -hmm. And then I was incredibly ignorant. And a month later, I actually managed to get it to a step I was happy with. I think you guys were doing all the right stuff in terms of facilitating things of this size F for me. I think I went through about 30 different Rosebud sessions where I had to kind of stitch all this together. Mm -hmm. I would add the TIE Fighters in one session, I'd add the Turbo Lasers in another, I'd add, you know, take your pick. So, yeah, rinse, repeat, do that, and that's uh, more or less how I ended up with the finished product. Wow, that's definitely a lot. You, you're definitely, like, you have earned power user for sure. Yeah, it's really inspiring to see, hopefully, soon um, Rosie is going to improve to, to a point where it won't have to be like such a large um, amount of like projects to stick to stitch together yeah. to at least be able to handle like big big amounts of code like you have right now in your game but yeah this is like an amazing accomplishment 